Today, we're actually going to talk about something that's been pivotal in our relationship. Yeah. Which is actually something that Siobhan got me onto, uh, and it's called Love Languages. And yeah. Siobhan, did you want to take the floor? Yeah, well, one of my friends told me about it, but I just think it's a game changer. And the reason I want to talk about it today um, is because it ke- it came up in the shared chats like quite a lot this lot this week, like with relationships and couples coming in and then I started talking about love languages and then it ended up obviously being a really big chat at the end so I just thought it'd be cool to speak about it on the podcast because I want everyone to know about it I think it was it's a game changer for filling up your partner's love tank it's so true there are different sorts of love tanks that we each have uh, which is another way of saying that there are different sorts of ways that we feel validated and feel like our feel partner loved. feel loved exactly right mm-hmm. exactly right and uh, knowing your partner's love language is a very important uh, key consideration in a relationship because you might express yourself uh, in a different way and the way you receive love might be a different way in the way that your partner receives love. Mm-hmm. So, for example, and we'll go through it all, but yeah. what I love the most is physical touch. And mm-hmm. when I receive physical touch from Siobhan, um, it makes me feel the best. You yeah. Know? On the other side, Siobhan, well, actually, you like physical touch, but it's not its not your number yeah. one. Siobhan prefers quality time. So when I'm giving Siobhan love in a sense of we're having a lot of, spending a lot of quality time together, her love tank is filling up the most, uh, not necessarily mine, although my quality time is, is pretty important to me too. But I guess the, the, the key consideration is that you might think that you're giving heaps and heaps of love and you're showing that your partner that you love them, but they might not be feeling that at all because they communicate and respond in a different love language. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, how many? Is there seven? Six. Is there six? six or seven. We yeah. probably should have looked at them before we did the podcast. True. But there's like six different love languages. And you go through like all these questions, kind of like a quiz. It's such good fun. Like if you have a partner, do it with them or do it with friends. It's like a really, like it's a good fun quiz. And you answer all these questions and they decide, like the answer decides what your love language is. So you, even if you guessed yours, you probably wouldn't get it right. Like I wouldn't have guessed mine was quality time. Mm. Um, so you go through the quiz and then the end it kind of rounds up which, which answers. So the love languages are like quality time, um, touch, words of affirmation, um, gift, like yeah, receiving, receiving gifts, gifts. Receiving gifts. Um, yeah. What's that? You got four so far? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I can't even remember the other ones. Yeah, no, they're on my phone. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I think everyone should definitely do them. Yeah. They're so good. So then we got to the conclusion that through the love languages, and I think this is right, it's normally what you didn't get as a child. Yes. That's or what really you craved as a child, and that's what you crave in your adult relationships. This is why relationships are so fucking important. Mm. And it's so good to know like where you're at and where your partner's at. And I guess if you're love languages I always look at it as if like your partner is or even a friend actually I guess is like feeling low or feeling down you know how to like fill their love tank back up absolutely it's it doesn't have to be a love tank just you know depending on how you you know um how you find that word like a a relationship is a relationship and if you're exactly right like if you're if if you have a friend that's just flat um depressed you know anxious something A really good way to just crack through all of that stuff and really get into it. Yeah, well, maybe hopefully you would know. If you don't know, you can do the quiz. Um, But you know, why give them give them a card to say, "Hey, I'm thinking of you." If their love, if their love, um, their love language is either words of affirmation or quality time, for example, or gifts. Or gifts, exactly right. So if anyone sees Tom in the street, just run up and touch him. Give me a hug. <laughs> yeah, don't touch me. <laughs> that's a weird thing to do. <laughs> it's, uh, that's, that's a right. jailable offence. <laughs> I know. Well, I reckon what's like the best time that it's really... I think I think our Sundays really incorporate our love languages to, to the full. So what we started to do, once we find found out what our love languages were, we started to think about how we could incorporate them both. Um you know, not necessarily a compromise, but the way we could get my need for physical touch and Siobhan's need for physic- for quality time in one, um, I guess, weekly date or something to make sure that we're always feeling, you know, validated and appreciated and loved by the other person. So Siobhan came up with a Sunday relationship day, which is a very strict day for us, strict in a sense that we absolutely have to adhere to it, to adhere to it. But 
it's a way for us to spend a full day together because life gets in the way so mm. much with everything. And it's a way for us to spend a full day together, just together. Technology is for the most part switched off or ignored. Apart from we're in a podcast. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But this is what we want to do. Can I just say, yes. how good am I at relationships? You are quite good at relationships. Came up with the love language test. Came up with the Sundays. You did come up with the Sundays. <laughs> I make amazing coffee. So this is quality time, but <laughs> if we really wanted to make sure that the love languages are on point, we'd be doing this. Yeah. Just so we get to physical touch with it. <laughs> anyway, I think we should dive into the Sundays because I get asked a lot about the Sundays. They're like, a relationship day. I'm like, yeah, and now people do it. Not so much on a Sunday, but like, they do the whole day. Yeah. And it's like, it was literally a game changer for our relationship. It really was. I think you have to... But it to... depends on your love language. But yeah, Karen. Absolutely. I don't think so, though, actually. No, I don't agree with that. I don't think it depends on your love language. Oh, in terms of the specific activities of the day, it depends on your love yeah, languages. Yeah, of course. But I think that with anything in life, if you value it, you have to work hard to ensure that it continues to go well, it continues to thrive. And life gets in the way for, for all of us, you know. And yeah. Shimon and I were starting businesses simultaneously. We were um, sorting out things with visas and traveling and, you know. Not anymore. You know, that was our life specifically. But within all your lives, you have heaps of stuff that's going on too. And one of the things that Brene Brown talks about, someone that we love, um, she's a psychologist from Houston. I think she's a psychologist. But she studied shame for the past 20 years and happiness. And um, she said that one of the biggest correlations between happy people is the amount of boundaries they have, the amount of things they say no to, um, the amount of, yeah, I guess that comes down to self-worth, hey, just that ability to say no because I'm valuing something else. Yeah, and of course. when you say no to the external world, um, like we do essentially on a Sunday, we say yes to our relationship. Yeah, well, we did it for like the first few weeks and then as soon as we started saying no, literally all our friends, all our family, like now know we have like a relationship day. Yeah. So they get a message like, oh, we've got this on Sunday, but we know it's your relationship day. I'm yeah. like, no, <laughs> it's like a thing now. So I'm like, so why fucking text me then? <laughs> <laughs> we asked him before. Yeah. But how cool. We could just like set a trend of the relationship day. Yeah, absolutely. And well, you may not, do it. Do it. It's well, fun. I was going to say like to be practical, you may not have a day, but even if it's just a date, like be really strong with your boundaries. You know, that's essentially what our relationship day is all about. It's just being Pretty strong much. with our boundaries. So if you're going out on a Tuesday night, for example, can you leave your phone at home and just take the card? You know, can you do whatever it can so as to not be influenced at all? by the external world, the stronger you build that boundary, you know, yes, you're saying no to one thing that could be tough, but you're saying yes to something else that could be very important to you. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Hmm. So that's love languages. That's the Sunday relationship. It's kind of like the relationship episode, hey? Yeah, it's turned into one. We kind of didn't plan it to turn into one. That's but true. But, yeah, I reckon that's the most, definitely the most important thing, though, this yeah. Sunday's. Key takeaways from the episode? Um, find out your partner's love language or just do the test yourself so you know yours. And, How do they find that? Um, it's online. I don't yeah. know. We've actually got it. This is why I'm, I think we should just set up a Facebook group. And then you can all come into the Facebook group and then we'll <laughs> post the love languages and you can all get it. The Espresso Self Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Reckon? Because I'm trying to think how else we can get it unless you go online. I think you yeah. have to pay for it. We've got it for free. True. Very true. Unless someone else wants to get it for free. True. We'll find out. Mm. Um, know your partner's love language. Yeah, or if, yours. Just know your yours. own. Know your own. So you need to know what you need. Have you hey? tried the coffee yet? No, it's hot as fuck. No, it's not. It it's is. just the cup. It's not. I'm drinking it. Oh, is it? Hmm. Oh, that's not hot at all. Saucy! I know. Okay. That. Know your partner's love language and. Um. No, just know yours. Know your partner's if you've got a partner. Yes. Um, definitely have like a set relationship date or day or whatever. Once a week at least. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. And it's important to, I would suggest, put some boundaries into your life. Although you might feel shitty because you're saying no to something, you're actually saying yes to yourself. Yeah, 100%. Until next time, express yourself. <laughs>